Hi there, it's uh, Chris Hanlon from The Profit Wizard, and I'm just uh, going to do a very quick video on how to do animations with tables. So recently I had a colleague with this problem, I helped him out with it, and I realized that there, they'd looked on YouTube and there was nothing there, so I thought I'd do something. So this is the issue that we have. We have a table, and if we wanted to fade in the table, the whole table fades in at once. And what we're thinking of is that a lot of times you'll want all, uh, part of the table to come in, maybe month by month, but maybe the whole thing and then June at the end. Or you might want to have this all appear and then the last row. So we're going to look at how we can do that. So I've got a very basic uh, PowerPoint here goes from that to this and we have a table there and it's got um, the animations we're on the animation screen right now what we're going to do is we're going to try one that's just adding the right column and the way we're going to do that is going to quickly come in here copy the table we've got bring it down paste so I just did control C for copy control V for paste ignore that then we're going to get rid of this column here. So I've right clicked and I'm going to go delete column. And then we're going to go where it says insert here, table, and we're what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. We're going to grab that. I'm going to make it about the right size. Key there is to line it up right. So that looks right. How's that? A bit higher maybe. Now that I'm on under pressure, I'm not going to get it right. Slotted in first time, last time when I was practicing. That'll do for now anyway. So then we go back up to this. We highlight. So we, the best way to highlight it is go so your arrow appears in that format, the little black arrow, do that, right click copy, come in here, arrow, right click paste, arrow, control V, it's easier, okay, still bugging me that it's not lined up right, right, anyway, Ignore that. <laughs> uh, if you need to line it up, you can zoom in and line it up a little bit more accurately. Okay, so we've got this here. When we copied it across, it copied with the fade in. Now we've got this um, element here as a separate object, and we go back to animations, and we've got that selected, and we go fade. Okay, so now when you see play, you've got fade one, fade two. And you do, do those on click so you can do fade the first slot, then fade in the second. So obviously, if we wanted to do a row on the bottom, we'd do the same sort of thing. We would uh, copy it, go down here, paste it, get that last row, delete row. Um, this is going to be a little different because of the colouring. So what we're going to do is we're going to go insert table what have we got six seven one two three four five six seven here we go bring that down underneath I'm going to stretch it out so it matches which should be right now obviously it's the wrong color so we're going to right click on it go format shape and you'll see it comes up with the fill color now these are theme colors, so it's using this theme. So we're going to use one of these two, whichever one's uh, right one. So it's gone Me, uh, darker, lighter, darker, lighter. So we want the lightest one, I think. So we do that. Oops, that's the right one, but we should have got all of them. So let's do that again. Format shape. Fill. Solid fill. That one. Right good there and of course we go back up here control 
Control C to copy. Same down here. Control V to paste. Now it's in white because it was in that. It's in white because it was this color before. So all we've got to do is come up here and hit black. Now it's bolded. Um, you can take the bold off. Or you can leave them on. It looks quite good. So now if we go back here we can go to animations, go fade, and then when we look at the different options, let's go right back to the beginning. We've got Table, the whole lot fades at once. This one, we've got the first part fading in, and then the second part. And this one, we've got the all of it fading in, and then the totals afterwards. Now, obviously, if you wanted to, you could add cell by cell, like really build it up. So you might do row by row, column by column, and just match them up. But hopefully, that's helped you. Um, so. As I said, quick video for anybody that needs it, and uh, I hope that's been of help. Cheers.